it's Karen from Art by Karen e. Haley, and I'm going to be showing you how I fit all of my different hobbies into a closet and a little bit out here, <laughs> but mostly into a regular sliding door size closet that is not very big, but has all the room I need for all the stuff I need. Let's check it out. Let's start with the desk. This is where I spend my time when I'm working on my projects. I have a light table. This desk is intended for dress pattern making. I purchased it from my uncle who is a picker and he had this in one of his buildings that he was emptying out and turning into a storefront. And this was in there and I just had to have it. I've cleaned it up with washi tape to make it look really pretty and I scrubbed all the old pieces of tape off the edge and I'm about to put a new light in it because it has been used so often since I got it that the lights burned out right now so I can't show you that it lights up but it does and it's really useful for tracing. I keep my sketchbook usually either out on top of my desk or it's sitting over here on my scanner so I'll just move that out of the way. Right now I'm doing a coloring book so in this pouch is all of my pens. All of my black ink pens are stored in here so that I can unzip and use them easily without having to dig for the ones I need too much. Because this desk is angled, I do have to put my drinks on a mat. And my mom actually made these little rug mugs for a party that was held for her a few years ago. And uh, I kept my little rug mug because it keeps my drink from sliding off my desk. The reason my markers are right here is because I use these almost every day when I'm using them to illustrate and I need them to be where I can reach. So I can stand and reach anything, everything in this space I can reach just from standing right here in front of my desk. I can even reach everything over here just from standing right in this spot and it makes the usefulness of this space so much more better. <laughs> so much easier for me and I just don't have any excuse for not using something because oh there's there's no reason for me to say there's something in the way that I don't want to use that I can reach everything I can get stuff done there's no digging behind things so <laughs> I'm one of those people where if I can't see it or reach it easily it gets wasted and not used so markers are right here I can reach them easily. I have uh, my favorite Stedler Triplus Fineliners right here. The other ones are over here, which I can still reach easily. This is where my watercolor pencils, paint brushes, paper cutter, sketchbooks and books, like my Pokedex, <laughs> things like that are all over here where I can reach them. Uh, I have some large papers that are actually kind of hard to get to, but I don't use large papers on a regular basis. So I don't really worry about that too much. Uh, I have quite a few things up here. I have sharp cutting tools and um, I have rulers and fine point little crochet hooks. These are all things that I don't want my kids to get to so I have them up kind of high. I have my hot glue gun and some buttons which are choking hazards so again up high. <laughs> uh, I have little clothes pins and a book, and more of my travel sketchbooks. I have my tablet pen for my uh, graphics tablet up here where my daughter can't get to it because she's almost two years old and she really likes to chew on the rubber grip of that and I don't want her to ruin it. I have a lot of different things up here. Things like miniature painting supplies, uh, the cables, cameras, and audio and streaming supplies. I have all my paintbrushes that I can fit in this jar. <laughs> so I have several paintbrushes in here and all of my tall ones are in this wallet. The ones that I can't fit anywhere else are in there. I have cleaning supplies so this is to clean off the glass on my tracing tablet or table and my graphics tablet. I have the uh, hand sanitizer here because it really does a great job cleaning up after Copic markers. 
because it dissolves the alcohol in the marker ink and you can wipe it up really easily. These are where my sharp things are. I have X-Acto knives, razors, some dental tools, <laughs> lots of things here. Uh, I plan to even put more things up there that are sharp. I have a lot of clay making things in this box for sculpting polymer clay and a lot of those things are really sharp and dangerous and I don't want my kids to get into those. So soon those will be here too. I have my acrylic paints, more acrylic paints, acrylic mediums, craft quality paint. Uh, these are compasses which are sharp and they're really high quality precision tools. I don't want my kids to hurt themselves on those either. I have multi-surface and enamel paints. So these are useful for painting things like dishware. And I have puffy paint. I've run out of a lot of that. I used a lot of it one Christmas to make Christmas ornaments. And then I have a little mini portfolio and some more uh, this is scrap paper because I have color palettes in there. And there's a lot of different things in there that I'd like to show you guys in another video. This is just random stuff. Most of it's kids' paintbrushes and sponges. And I keep finished art up here. This is stuff that's ready to be scanned or in the progress of being worked on, but I need a place to put it where it keeps flat. So there's a lot of artwork in these and I'll go through these in another video. This also has finished artwork in it, and then some of my miniature progress or projects that are in progress are up here and in here. I have some Pokemon cards in here and in here, and these two boxes are pretty much empty. That one has a little bit of ribbon that I've found as I've gone through and organized, so I have a box for ribbon, but I've been putting things that I find into that so I can sort it later. This is basically the gist of my daily use of this desk. Uh, I do have a few things that I don't use every day. I have this mini iron. This space is reserved for my cat. His name's Rocky. He likes to sit on my stuff if he doesn't have a place to go. So he has a place to go. And down here, behind this cutting board, which I use quite often, I have my tablet bag right now. This tablet bag usually is in a drawer under my bed. I have a captain's bed style bed and I usually have that suitcase in this drawer. But the sewing machine that's usually here is in the living room set up ready for me to use because I've been making Christmas presents with it. So I have the, t the cables and stand for that tablet in the front and then the tablet is in here. It's the Huion Canvas 13. It is green. <laughs> I liked the green. Uh, it's kind of gray on camera, but it's a, it's a foresty green color in person. <laughs> in here is two irons and a uh, bag of notions. And then there's some fabric. That is not my entire fabric collection, but uh, there is one thing in here that I need to move out. This basket. I need to organize this basket out of all of the things in this closet. That is the remainder of the massive clutter that was in here when I began getting this ready back in August. Or maybe it was July. But you can go back and see some of my videos from that time period. July, August 2020. This closet was packed full of stuff, and I cleared out all of it, and only the things I really wanted to hang on to are in here now. So I'm really proud of this space. Uh, I don't know if I really did a tour of this section, so I'll go ahead and give you a tour now. Whew. I do apologize, I am getting a bit out of breath. It's been a long time since I've done a large amount of talking in a video. So I have of some of the extra acrylics and there is actually a oil paint kit in there. I have a progress, a work in progress miniature building and I just murdered Olaf. Sorry, Olaf. Um, this is going to be a hobbit house built into the side of a hill 
but it's also going to be access accessible from the back. The roof that's peaked will be thatched roof, and it's going to turn out really cute. I have a lot of plans for this. This is all glitter, and it's full. There's a lot of different boxes of glitter in this container. These are all my pens, pencils, colored pencils that I don't use every single day. A few things in here I would consider moving closer to me, but because right now I'm working on a coloring book, I'm not really using a lot of colored mediums, so that can wait until a later time. I have quite a collection of amiibos, things that viewers have made, like Cheeto the dragon. A viewer made this little guy for me. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, lots of different things back in there that I could do a whole video on, really. I have quite the collection of knickknacks. And then these are paint palettes, styrofoam plates, uh, deviled egg display containers. This is a gouache palette of M. Graham gouache. This is watercolors, and uh, I think that it's cellular honey based watercolors that's in there. This is a rigor art art palette, which I did do a review on in the past. And here is clamps and beads. I labeled it clamps because that's what I use regularly in here. <laughs> but there's a lot of beads in there. Large ones that I got that I plan to use for dollhouse lamp making. So these these types of novelty beads are great for making miniature lamps. So that's what those are for. This is full to the brim with washi tape. These are erasers and mechanical pencil lead, and this is all my liquid inks, like the inks that come in bottles, things like that. From here up, this is my polymer clay box. This is all polymer clay. This is the clay tools. These are dollhouse supplies. These are all the things I've made out of polymer clay and other various supplies. So there's a huge collection of miniatures here. This is the remainder of the kit for this dollhouse, which has already been built. The only thing in here that I haven't really finished off that I need is I need some of the windows uh, and I need to build the door. But that's about it. This is pom-pom bunny supplies. <laughs> so I will show you some pom-pom bunnies on screen and I will show you this finished dollhouse on screen which are both in different rooms from now. And uh, yeah, I have scrap colored paper. This is roofing supplies for the dollhouses. This is garden supplies, so like it says terrain and foliage because it's uh, the same kind of stuff that uh, railroad modelers would use to make terrain for the railroads. This is watercolor supplies and this is the 5x7 paper that I use for my markers and also for my gouache. Moving on over here, because this is kind of like the same sort of stuff as what's in these things. This is all miniature stuff. I've got wood stuff, like, uh, what are these? <laughs> Posts, pillars, things like that. More polymer clay, empty containers to store polymer clay in. Uh, some little strips of cardboard and different things like that. I think there's some uh, tiny little miniature easels for displaying stuff. This is actually empty, but I have some more things that I want to store in here. These are some miniature kits. This is the tissue paper I would wrap miniatures in when I would sell them at miniature fairs. And in here is my kit for taking to miniature fairs. So I have like little containers and there's tape and deodorant and uh, uh, receipt booklets and little gift baggies, all sorts of things are in there to have with me when I sell miniature stuff. And in here is armature supplies, so there's a lot of wire and foil, and those are useful for making things for miniatures as well, like little dogs and stuff. And in here, all of my windows and doors for my miniature houses. In that, I believe, is things I need to organize, <laughs> but a lot of it is found objects for making into miniatures, and there's also some 
marker wallets that I made that are in there that I'm not using right now. Whew, that was exhausting. That's basically the overview of my workspace. I'm gonna get up off the floor, trying to catch my breath. Whew, I managed to really pare it down to what is essential in here and what is not. But this is a lifetime of stuff. I'm 31. This is a lot of stuff that I've actually accumulated over the years. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff and I've managed to fit most of it down here in my closet, which is now a really great little workspace. I can keep my kids out of here. I can set up a baby gate and uh, whoa, blurry. The ghost appeared. I can set up a baby gate and kind of keep my daughter out of it and uh, I also can work comfortably in here. Thank you so much for joining me as we went through my workstation together. Uh, I didn't really touch on my gigantic printer, but I haven't been using that really regularly. Uh, I do plan to start selling prints and things like that again in the near future, but I really need to start setting myself up business-wise. I'm set back up supplies-wise and workspace-wise, but I really don't have a very good um, setup for running my online art business anymore, and I need to get back to that. And that's all just clerical work, but stuff that I'm not super good at, and I might need to call in some help to get that back on track. Um, and I also didn't really touch on my tripod. Oh, there's Olaf! Uh, <laughs> but that is an Alta Pro 263AT, uh, and that's the tripod I use for filming my art videos. So, but I want to do a really detailed tour of how my art is set up and how my space is set up when I'm doing art videos. So that'll be a different video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy sharing my space. I know that this might seem like a video where I'm out of breath. And that's because I've done this take so many times now. <laughs> or not take, but I've done several takes of this video today while my daughter's asleep. And I'm like trying to hurry before she wakes up. Because it's a lot of work to do more than one thing when I have her awake. She's into everything. She's almost two. And she has the curiosity of 16 cats. <laughs> so... Um, thank you so much for watching, thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you see any containers or anything where you want me to go through it more, like the, uh, like for instance, the little art portfolio, the miscellaneous box, I don't know, my finished art, my miniatures collection stuff, let me know, because I really would love to just dig through all my stuff, but I can't do that in one video. There's just so much. That would be exhausting. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for watching! <laughs>